past hurts and traumas, it encourages us to comport and process our emotions related to our past experiences, allowing us to heal and move forward with a renewed sense of emotional well-being. At lastly, ang pinakamahuli dyan ay ang dapat linangin ang positibong pananaw. You have also to cultivate a positive outlook. Maintaining a positive outlook is crucial in living beyond our feelings. It teaches us that by focusing on gratitude, practicing forgiveness, and choosing joy, we can cultivate a positive mindset that enables to overcome negative emotion and live a more fulfilling life. So binibigyan din dito ang kahalaga ang kahalagahan ng paghahanap ng emotion o kagalingan mula sa nakaraang sakit o trauma. At higit po sa lahat, dapat ituro sa atin na ang pamamagi o magtuon ng pansin sa pamamagitan ng pagpapasalamat, pagsasanay sa pagpapatawad at pagpili ng kagalakan. Maari din natin linangin ang isang positibong pag-iisip na nagbibigay daan sa atin na makalampas o malampasan ang mga negatibong emosyon at mabuhay ng mas kasiyasiyang buhay. So ito po ang aral o ilan sa mga aral or pointers tungkol sa pamumuhay sa likod ng iyong nararamdaman. Living beyond your feelings. This is PP 2024 F 212 D. Transforming your relationship with money and life. Ang kaluluwa ng pera. The soul of life. Una dyan ay ang paglipat mula sa kakapusan tungo sa kasaganaan. Shifting from scarcity to abundance. It also teach us to shift our mindset from scarcity to abundance. Instead of constantly worrying about not having enough, we can cultivate an attitude of sufficiency and recognize the abundance that already exists in our lives. Pangalawa dyan ay dapat tayo mamulat sa paggastos at pagbibigay. We should have to be conscious of spending and giving. The importance of conscious spending and giving, it aligns our financial choices with our values. We can use money as a tools to create positive change in our life and in the world as well. On the third, ay ang pagbubunyag ng ating mga kwento tungkol sa pera. Uncovering our money story. It explore and understand our personal money story. This story often shift, shift by our upbringing and societal conditioning can limit our relationship with our money by uncovering and reframing this story, we can create a healthier and more empowering relationship with money. So, 
Pangapat ay ang paglinang ng pasasalamat at pagbubukas palad. Cultivating gratitude and generosity. By practicing gratitude and generosity, you are appreciating what we have or what you have and sharing our resources or your resources with other we or you can experience a profound sense of fulfillment and abundance at number five ang pag-alay ng pera sa mga layunin you have to align your money with purpose Aligning our financial choices with our life, purpose, and value by ensuring that our money is used in a way that reflects our authentic selves. We can find greater satisfaction and meaning in our financial decision. Through our financial decision. So, on the sixth, you have to ang pag-aalis. You also have to let it go. Letting go of the, of the myth of more in a culture than often equate or equates success with accumulation. It challenges us also to let go of this myth of more. By shifting our focus from acquiring more to experiencing and suffering what we already have, we can find contentment and fulfillment that surpass material possession. At ang pagbito dyan ay ang paglikha ng legacy. You have to create legacy. Creating a legacy of meaning. Meaning is that is is important because it extends beyond financial wealth by recognizing impact our choices have on future generation. We can also use our resources to create positive change and live a meaningful and legacy or meaningful legacy for others to follow. So, ang paglikha ng isang pamana na higit pa sa kayamanan sa pananalapi ay ito sa pamamagitan ng pagkilala sa epekto ng ating pagpipilian sa mga susunod na herenerasyon. Magagamit natin ang mga ito o mapagkukunan upang lumikha ng positibong pagbabago at mag-iwan ng makabuluhang ligasiya para sundin ng iba. So ito po ang aral tungkol sa kaluluwa ng pera. The soul of money. Laging tatandaan ang pera ay hindi gumagawa ng kasamaan, kundi ang humahawak ng pera ang siyang gumagawa ng kasamaan. Because the soul of money is the purest of it. So this is the Soul of Money BB24 F212 E Kunin ang mga tao at gawin mo ang gusto mo Get people to do what you want. Una dyan, unawain ang motivasyon at pagnanais. 
involves the importance of understanding what motivates and drive individual to identify other desire and tailor communication to align with those motivation. Dapat din bumuo ka ng pakikipagugnayan at tiwala. You have to build rapport and trust. Building rapport and trust is likely a key theme. It might involve learning techniques to establish trust and credibility, fostering positive relationship that make others more willing to cooperate. Effective communication also or effective communication strategy also needs. There could be in this could be involved developing clear and persuasive communication skill understanding how to convey messages in a way that resonate with others and encourage them to action so yun pa ang mga dapat epektibong estratehiya sa komunikasyon susunod naman diyan ay body language and non-verbal cues The importance of interpreting and using body language and non-verbal cues might discuss in and it might also may involve recognizing the impact of non-verbal communication and learning how to use it to influence and pursue. Dapat din may kakayahan kang umangkop sa komunikasyon. The, ad- the adaptability in communication. It needs an ad- adaptability in communication. So it involves tailoring communication style to different personality, situation, and context, ensuring a more effective and persuasive approach. So ang kakayahanan mo umangkop sa komunikasyon ay maaring may kinalaman sa pagangkop sa iyong mga estilo ng komunikasyon sa iba't ibang personalidad, sitwasyon, at konteksto na tinitiyak na mas epektibo at mapanghikayat na paraan. So ito po ang mga insights or some pointers how to get people to do what you want. This is PP2024 F212F. Pagkabisado sa ikot ng merkado at pagkuha ng mga odds sa iyong panig. This is the mastering of the market cycle and getting the odds in your side. Una siyang kilalanin ang pag-ikot na kalikasan o likas ng mga merkado. You have to recognize the cyclical, cyclical nature of markets. Markets have inherent boom and vast cycle. Not just random fluctuations. Understanding these cycles and their causes empowers you to make informed investments and decision. The second is mahalagang pag-iisip sa ikalawang antas. Second level thinking matters. Don't just follow the herd or chase trend. Develop your own independent analysis, considering both the what in market moments and the why, the underlying factors driven those movements. 
ang pagkabisado sa ikot ng merkado at ang pagkuha ng mga odds sa inyong panig. The mastering of the market cycle and getting odds on your side. Una dyan, kilalanin ang pag-ikot na kalikasan ng mga merkado. You have to recognize the clean, calm nature of markets. Markets have inherent boom and past cycle, not just random fluctuations, understanding cycles and their causes empower you to make informed investments decision. And the second is, mahalagang pag-iisip sa ikalawang antas. You have to have second level thinking matters. Don't just follow the herd or chase trend. Develop your own independent analysis. Consider both what, what or market movements and the why or the underlying factor grieving those movements. Be contrarian but not stubborn. Dapat maging kontratarian ka, ngunit hindi matigas ang ulo. While go- going against the grain can lead to profits, avoid blinds, kontratarianism, and analyze market sentiment and adjust your it- strategy accordingly. Balancing kontratarian thinking with rest management. Dapat din yakapin ang margin ng safety. You have to also embrace margin of safety. Don't overpay for asset. Seek investment with a built-in margin of safety. Where potential gain overweigh and potential loses. Even it means missing out some opportunities. Dapat din handa ka o dapat maghanda para sa volatility. You also have to be prepared for volatility. Market downturns are inevitable. Be prepared with a diversified portfolio, a strong cash reserve, and a long-term perspective whether the storm and capitalize on potential buying opportunity. Dapat din ay maging pasensyoso at disiplinado. You have to be patient and disciplined. Market cycle can take years to unfold. Develop Patience to stay invested during downtimes and the discipline to stick your strategy even when faced with temptation to panic of jam shift. Pangpito dyan ay dapat ang pagpapatuloy sa pag-aaral at ang suse. You also have to continue learning which is a K. Market are constantly in evolving and so should you, your knowledge. Stay updated on economic trends, investment, strategy, and market dynamics to adapt and improve your investment decision over time. So dapat patuloy ang iyong pag-unlad at gayon din ang iyong kaalaman. Manatiling updated sa mga uso sa ekonomiya, mga diskarte sa pamumuhunan, at ang dynamic ng merkado upang iangkop mo at pagbutihin ang iyong mga desisyon sa pamumuhunan sa paglipas na panahon. So ito po ang mga aral tungkol sa mastering the market cycle 
and getting the odds on your side. This is BP2024 F212 Ga. Ano ang alam ko na sigurado ako? What I know for sure. Ito po ang mga aral na dapat natin alamin. Una dyan, follow your heart and your passion. Sundin ang iyong puso at ang iyong hilig. Don't be afraid to fail. Huwag matakot na mabigo. Surround yourself with positive people. Palibutan ang iyong sarili ng mga positibong tao. Be grateful for what you have. Magpasalamat sa kung ano ang mayroon ka. Live each day to the fullest. Mabuhay araw-araw ng buo. Forgive yourself and others. Patawarin ang iyong sarili at ang iba. Give back to others. Ibalik sa iba. Be kind to yourself. Maging mabait sa iyong sarili. Trust your intuitions. Magtiwala sa inyong intuition. Don't compare yourself to other. Huwag ikumpara ang iyong sarili sa iba. Be true to yourself. Maging totoo sa iyong sarili. Don't be afraid to speak up for what you believe in. Huwag matakot na magsalita para sa iyong paniniwala. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and what you can't do. Huwag hayaang may magsabi sa iyo kung ano ang maaari at hindi mo magagawa. Never give up on your dreams. Huwag sumuko sa iyong mga pangarap. Lastly, love yourself unconditionally. Mahalin ang iyong sarili ng walang pagsusubali. One of the most successful and influential women in the world has overcome many challenges in her in her life. But she has always persevered in her own experiences and wisdom. There are universal and can be applied to any area of life. If you are look, looking for inspiration and guidance, what I know for sure is one of the best guide of life. I hope that it will help you to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Ito po ang ano ang alam ko na sigurado ako. What I know for sure. This is PP 2024 F 212 Ha! Ito po ang mga aral mula sa pagiging tungkol sa personal na pagbabago at pagkakakilalan. Becoming through our personal growth and identity. Una dyan, yakapin ang iyong mga Pinagmulan. Embrace your roots. Understand and appreciate your background and how it shapes your identity. Pangalawa, 
Hanapin ang iyong boss. 